I am in Marigat, some 250 kilometers from the Kenyan capital city. All I can see is a canopy of trees. This canopy of trees is majorly made up of a tree species locally called Madenge. But for the residents of this area, the Madenge tree is bad news. Its scientific name is Prosopis juliflora and is native to Central America. It, it, it goes, uh, In the 1980s, it was introduced to the arid and semi-arid regions of Baringo, Tana River and Garissa in Kenya as what many hoped would be a solution to desertification and soil erosion while helping local communities in the process. It was seen as a miracle plant for its ability to serve as a windbreaker and provide wood fuel to local communities. But over the years, what was once hailed as a solution has turned into a crisis. The fast growing Matenga plant has become impossible to control. The green leaves are not of any importance to our livestock or to any other animal livestock we keep. They only make this area green? They only green, make it beautiful for nothing. Seku explains that Matenga trees are invasive choking other plants and leaving little or no pasture for animals. These ones are the pots. So this and what is, this is what the animals love most. The goats? The goats, the cows, the they sheep. They eat these things? They eat this one very much. Uh -huh. They eat this one. So when they consume these this small seeds. Uh -huh. these, are the, this is what destroys their teeth? Their, yes, this is what destroys them because of the sugary. With no teeth, most of the animals end up dying given that they can't chew food or cut. The dangers of Madenge extend beyond harming livestock. Its stones cause painful wounds that often fester for years without healing. After previous interventions fell short, the government is now seeking help from the community. Farmers like James Lochutang are urged to clear their fields, uproot invasive plants, plant crops, and establish barriers to prevent the spread of madenge. This is my land. Before I started practicing crop cultivation, it was full of madenge trees, but my friends and I cleared it by uprooting all the trees and their deep lying roots, and we started planting crops, and it's been good. But the Kenyan government is also looking for sustainable ways to control the spread of this invasive plant. Now, Prosopis, when it was brought in from uh, Central America, where it is native, the insect that controls Prosopis never came with it. <laughs> they were left there. They were left there. So, in fact, now the problem that we are now trying to do is to reunite the natural enemy <laughs> with the Prosopis. So, there's a program now to introduce insects they, they from South America. Feed on the seed. Exactly, to help us to reduce the, the seed, uh, seed bank. For the residents of Baringo and other regions affected, the question now is, will these interventions work this time round? Enoxicolia, CGTN, Baringo, Kenya.